ideal and real situation never match so we have been learning about ideal gases but in reality does all the gas behave in the way we expect it to behave let's go ahead and see but this video i'm not doing any numerical problems i'm just doing the theory so let's just revise on what is an ideal gas an ideal gas is the one that has the following properties according to the kinetic theory of gases we studied it earlier so what are they the first one is the particles in a gas are separated by large distance individual molecules occupy negligible volume so is it always true we have to go ahead and look at it the second one is gas molecules move around randomly collide with each other without the loss of any energy that means when they collide each other they do not lose any energy and the third one is they do not attract or repel each other so these are the basics of uh, ideal gases so we have to go ahead and check whether all these things are really true now let's compare the ideal gases and the real gas we just learned that in case of an ideal gas the particles in a gas are separated by large distance individual molecules occupy negligible volume but in a real situation this is not true at high pressure and low temperature molecules can become close to each other consider the situation where the molecules are far the volume is pretty big the molecules are far and hence it can be close to ideal situation but is this always true what happens when i just decrease the volume and you can see that the same number of molecules they come close to each other so when they come close to each other uh, this whatever we have assumed the volume decreases the pressure increases the molecules are closer so it is not really necessary that the individual molecules will occupy negligible volume so in real situation is little different from the ideal situation so the next partial it was ideal gas molecule they move around randomly they collide with each other and they don't lose any energy but in real situation this is not always true there is loss of energy when the molecules collide with each other it is not an inelastic collision they do lose energy the third one the gas molecules do not attract or repel each other this situation is not again true only at low temperature when the where what happens is when at low temperature when the molecules are moving slowly their kinetic energies are low and hence the intermolecular forces will become more significant and they do get attracted to each other so from the whatever we have seen so far whatever we have assumed for an ideal gas it's an in real situation most of the time ideal gases do not behave ideally there is deviation from ideal behavior so does it mean that we never can have ideal behavior no at high temperature and low pressure gases approach ideal behavior inner gases like helium neon argon krypton and xenon behave closer to ideal behavior and uh, non polar bimolecular gases hydrogen nitrogen oxygen and fluorine they also behave very close to ideal behavior and polar gases like ammonia they deviate largely from ideal behavior but the condition is if i have high temperature and the pressure is low most of the gases approach ideal behavior i didn't say that they behave ideally they tend to become more as an ideal gas we know the ideal gas equation as pv equals nrt the deviation from ideal behavior is given by van der waal equation as given over there p plus an square over v square uh, times v minus nb equals nrt the a factor over there is the correction for the pressure term and the b factor over there is the correction for the volume term since the first year uh, college chemistry doesn't uh, do more in van der waal equations i'm not going to do any uh, questions on them so maybe later when i'm done with the entire chemistry first year chemistry course i might do some questions on van der waal equations